Awesome. Okay. Uh, first off, can you get your uh, title uh, back at your, mil uh, your home unit? Corporal Ryan, Assistant Squad Leader for Headquarters Headquarters Company of 169th Infantry in New York National Guard. Okay, copy that very well. All right, so basic question, uh, how do you think you're doing so far? Um, we haven't had too many events so far, but I'm feeling a lot better after the board. Tripped up a little bit on land but that's all right. It's, you know, 10 meter targets and just move on to the next event. Very well. Uh, in regards to the board, uh, you just had a long day of physical activity followed by this uh, board interview. Uh, how does it feel to uh, switch gears and do something that challenges you uh, mentally? I think that that's a good plan by the uh, state of Oklahoma because, like you said, that's very difficult to do. And we were up to 2 o'clock in the morning. So to be able to tap into what you've been studying and retain, try and spit out what you've been retaining is uh, a <coughs> excuse me, pretty tough challenge. So Best Warrior puts uh, tremendous mental and physical strain on uh, its competitors. Can you explain how you're going to maintain your drive and uh, go the distance? Well, you know, being in open bay barracks with the guys definitely helps because you got to look to your left and right, and if that guy's still fighting, you're definitely going to be fighting, and it, it pushes you that much harder. And you're, you're here representing something bigger than you, so it, it, that definitely helps motivate me, I think. And can you explain what you did to train up for this event and how do you think that training is going to help you uh, and Best Warrior this year? Well, in the beginning it was a little bit more personal training, which is fine. I think that that's the way it's designed to be. And then the further into competition you go, the more and more you get support from your unit. And I've been able to do countless amount of range time that, you know, in the National Guard everybody knows you don't get that much range time. Countless amount of land nav, countless amount of physical training. Just a lot of a uh, lot of support from everybody in the unit, from heavy weapons to somebody in supply. Very well. I know you have a limited knowledge of the uh, future events, but uh, what part of the competition are you looking forward to the most, and why? Um, I believe that the ACFT is probably my my best event, and uh, I'm looking forward to to taking care of that or whatever PT test that they they throw at us. And on the flip side of that coin, uh, what uh, part of the, uh, of the competition do you think you'll look, uh, that, you, that you're least likely to look forward to? And how do you plan on overcoming any of those challenges that that um, competition may bring to you? They gave, they gave us a brief on the obstacle course that I don't want to say it's like I'm least looking forward to it, but it's definitely going to be very challenging, especially with the heat. And um, it's, it's a pretty long course. So that, that should be definitely challenging and, and uh, definitely have to gear up for that one. And how do you plan on all right, gearing up for that? Um, just having some electrolytes, hydrating tonight for sure, and uh, you know, make sure my breathing's right. Over that, just one more question. Uh, what do you think uh, it says about today's Army National Guard that assistant soldiers uh, like you are competing at this at the same level as uh, as other Army components? I think it's awesome. I think it's an awesome opportunity. This whole this whole event is just a, an awesome opportunity, and I think that more. I focus more on the younger guys because I'm a younger guy, but there's definitely guys way younger than me in the Army. I think that if you don't have really a career path or something like that, this event itself just opens so many doors, even if you don't make it that far. Just sticking your neck out there and trying to do your best, I think opens a lot of doors and you can make you can make a career out of it just by doing something like this. Thank you. I have no further questions. Special sec. Uh, tech sergeant went ahead and covered uh, some of the questions I was going to ask, so I'll go ahead and go into a. So, what's the overall experience here in Oklahoma for the best warrior competition been like for you? It's definitely been hot. Um, you know, we're in the early stages of the uh, the competition. Um, it's good to have the board out of the way. Now you could focus mainly on making sure your body's good to go, your gear's good to go, and you can kind of you know forget about that. And um, you know, I think the Heat is probably the biggest competitor right now, and um, a lot of a lot of the different re it's it's nice going from level to level and seeing how the competition rises, and it, it's it's cool to meet different guys from all over the country. All right, outside the competition itself, what about uh, just uh, the state of Oklahoma in general? What's it been like uh, coming to visit? Toby Keith was awesome. I actually went to a Toby Keith concert the week before I came here, so that that was pretty cool that they did that. Um, and we visited the Oklahoma City Bombing Museum, which was very moving, and um, that was a that was a great uh, great experience. And it, it, like I said, it's been hot as hell. <laughs> so what's uh, 
what's the most valuable lesson you've learned uh, since you have to do multiple uh, Best Warrior challenges to even get here? Uh, what's the most valuable lesson they've taught you? I, I would say my biggest takeaways is, you know, that the one, the National Guard has way more to offer than, you know, what you see on the surface. And just by, like I was telling Tech Sergeant, just by doing something like this, you can open so many doors. And it, it's, a, it's a gut check, the whole thing, you know. It's a long, it's like a really long season of a sport, and uh, you got to dig deep. It's, it's, sometimes it's hard to stay motivated, but then you think about the other guys that are training, and if, they, if they're taking a day off, which they're probably not, so you can't take a day off. And uh, how would you feel if you won the Best Warrior competition? I mean, that that would be the uh, that be the ultimate goal. That's the whole reason why we started doing this thing. I'm sure every every competitor in here feels the same way. That would feel like a success. Anything else would feel like a failure. But you know, you keep driving on. All right. And uh, finally, is there just anything else you'd like to add, either about yourself or the National Guard? Um, I would I would just like to reiterate to you know younger soldiers, especially guys that maybe because a lot of guys in the National Guard have families, they have careers, and I'm not picking on the guys that don't have careers and family, but I'm just saying, think about, look yourself in the mirror and, and have an honest talk and, you know, use the, use something like this as a, an, an actual way to make an opportunity out of something as small as your weekend job. Would you like to give a shout out to anybody back home or? Uh, I'll, I'll, give a, I'll give a shout out to my parents and uh, definitely my beautiful, loving girlfriend. I think she'd appreciate that and our dog, Coyote.